All right, Pisces, welcome to your weekly horoscope for February 8th through the 14th, Sunday through Saturday. My name is Athen. All right, so we've got an emphasis on uh, your 11th house where we have Mercury going station direct finally. And we have some planets changing sign starting with your house on uh, Thursday when Mars goes into Pisces. So uh, starting off the week, let's start here on Sunday. We've got Venus sextantly up to Pluto. So the weekend leading into this week, definitely a good time to connect to things on a very deep sort of level, very spiritual level too with your Venus in the 12th house. This is, of course, our relationships, but anything we value in general, a good weekend actually to uh, spend some time uh, behind the scenes or getting that alone time, that meditative time in general, you'll find very powerful and perhaps very healing too because Venus is going to go over Chiron on Sunday as well, revitalizing, rejuvenating you spiritually. Now, on Monday and Tuesday, we've got the moon in Libra for these two days which is your eighth house, so deepening things. I think naturally in the beginning of the week, you guys are going to be wanting to connect to things on that deep level, a good sense of transparency and openness with the moon in that eighth house. Then on Wednesday, Mercury goes station direct in that 11th. So whatever you guys have been reflecting on or thinking about or reworking in regards to groups, your community, uh, anything that uh, is about you connecting to your work on a deeper level, the enjoyment that you get from your work, being of service, basically. <clears throat> which is what the 11th house symbolizes is your role in the community as an individual being of service, uh, which could, of course, you know, be with friends and stuff too, or literal groups. But uh, whatever that is for you, taking what you've learned during the Mercury retrograde time and putting it into action, putting it forward from that Wednesday time onward for the next couple of weeks while it's in the shadow period of the retrograde. And if you do that, you'll learn quite a bit, uh, not only in regards to what you've learned, but you learn, you know, how it's applied. And it's the very much more practical elements of the learning process. But in either case, it's usually a realization moment. So midweek, I think definitely um, reflect on, you know, what, what you've learned during the Mercury retrograde period. So lots of learning that took place and then taking that stuff you've learned and putting it into the 11th house. Now on Wednesday and Thursday, we do have the moon in Scorpio. So there is this uh, disciplined approach you guys have been taking with your life path. Saturn's in your ninth house. The moon's going to go over Saturn uh, Wednesday. And so there's this um, this adventure. You know, there's life. We have life. We have adventure. We have passion. We have the overall uh, life path. And so with Saturn there, you guys have been taking this part of your life and your overall life very seriously in regards to your path. So with the moon here, a good couple days to step into that mature, disciplined, patient approach in regards to the enfoldments of your overall life. Now on Thursday, like I said, we've got Mars going into your sign in Pisces for the next two and a half months where the energy is certainly going to be about you, your goals, your ambitions. Mars does love to be in that first house and in, in Pisces, it's about going with the flow like you naturally do tapping into your intuition also, but uh, putting energy towards your goals and your ambitions. This is starting the uh, a shifting point from the 12th house into the first house where you guys have had Venus and Mars in your 12th of perhaps resting up, enjoying the subtle elements of life. Still an emphasis on that for the next 30 days because we're going to have the sun in that 12th, but starting to put energy towards your goals, your ambitions, etc., while perhaps, you know, getting that in intuitive element going on and listening to your dream space continuously and, uh, you know, getting plenty of rest and relaxation, still motivational time. And it starts with Mars, then Venus a little bit later, then the sun in about 30 days. So one by one, they're going into your first house and uh, starting now, starting this week, if you are guided to put energy towards your goals, your ambitions, you can definitely unlock this Mars energy uh, midweek. Now on Saturday, which is going to be Valentine's Day for those of us in the States, we've got the moon in Sagittarius, which is your 10th house, interestingly enough. So um, it, in either case, it's expansive for all of us, expansive energy of Sagittarius. And so for you, it could deal with something on the public level. If you guys are maybe feeling like you might want to get some work done over the weekend, I don't know if that's really, uh, you know, vibing with the Valentine's energy, but um, there's a flow there with your 10th house of work, career, and anything on a public level. But it could just be that you have a very good, be just a good time to see your overall life in general and uh, step into that, uh, you know, long-term commitment in many ways too with the 10th house, uh, maybe in regards to relationships, but just in general, having that good sense of maturity and overall perspective of your overall life. 
All right, Pisces, well, hope you have a great week. Thank you again for all of your support. If you'd like a personal reading, you can check the link down below for the YouTube discount, and I will talk to you next time. Take care.